In this video, uh, we will be discussing about the HR measurements and the current approaches uh, measuring HR. As we already aware, uh, uh, HR analytics uh, is, is uh, playing its role in streamlining the HR measurements and, uh, and to see that how these HR measurements will really uh, impact the business. So that's the whole idea with this with this video. If you look at HR measurement, what really uh, it will does is it will allow the organization to better understand what is happening with HR functions, okay, and why it is happening. So there could be a possible reasons uh, for this uh, for a few of the things to happen. And of course, establishing some relationship uh, between uh, one or two variables and provide input in, pro in predicting what could happen in future. So this is what uh, is involved with HR measurements. Now there are uh, primary characteristics of uh, HR measure. The one is ability to explain what is happening with the organization and why say the attrition is is very high so you are you are able to explain why the attrition is very high so that amounts to a measurement say the absenteeism uh, amongst the employees is little high this month so you should able to answer these questions which is a part of your hr measurement <clears throat> and you should also able to quote the reason behind that creating a link between people information and business performance this is very very important so you have some information about the people that is absenteeism and how really this absenteeism is going to impact on business performance that is uh, maybe my uh, sales in this month maybe by profit maybe my revenue so you should able to establish the link between the people information and business performance <clears throat> and the last one is assessing issues uh, while uh, driving continuous improvement so uh, when you are planning for a continuous improvement in some of the process or some of the mm, uh, some of the uh, things that you are following. So, is there any uh, issue which is associated um, in this process? That you should be able to uh, do. That's what the HR measurement is all about. There are <coughs> different approaches to measure HR. So, uh, um, so these uh, five are uh, very commonly uh, used approaches uh, to measure the HR. The one is HR reporting the second, and the other one is uh, human capital benchmarks, HR dashboard, HR scorecard and causal chain. Let us discuss each one of these. The first one is HR reporting. Mainly it talks about the efficiency of HR operations. There are a lot of HR operations which are, uh, which are taking place. And here you will be focusing more on the efficiency part of these HR operations. And of course, uh, this is a very preliminary uh, approach towards the measurement. That is, that's what I said, it is the least mature. It consists of formatted and organized presentation of data relating to the performance of daily operations. So very formal uh, way of uh, putting things about uh, the operations which are happening. And utilize the standard data extract to provide a detailed analysis about a particular aspect of the organization. So very uh, systematically drafted um, standardized data extract procedures will be followed for this. Enable more immediate short term decisions on specific operations being measured. Okay, there are two, three things that we need to uh, uh, extract from this HR reporting an approach of measuring HR is more of a short term, is more focused towards the operational um, uh, areas of HR 
it ext extract data in a highly standardized format okay and majoritarily it is it is a very uh, low profile analytics or low profile approach uh, in measuring the hr so some of the things uh, that we uh, some of the examples are cost per hire okay how much money you are spending to hire uh, employees in your organization a very simple analysis time to fill again time to fill uh, your resources training cost ratio to hr staff to total uh, employees these are all very simple uh, uh, measurement that you can able to establish so this is just a reporting what is happening in the organization so that is your first approach and the second one is there are some benchmarks or there are some indices which is uh, been created in the industry so those benchmarks benchmark or the indices will be kept as a standard in order to measure your current operations okay so hr practices are associated with uh, uh, familiar financial outcomes data from many organization leads credibility say for example in 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 an it industry uh, the benchmark uh, uh, the time to hire uh, fresher is 15 days so uh, those 15 day is an benchmark for all the it firms when they are hiring freshers so that's the that's the approach that we will be following here so yes there are there may be a practices or the combination that generally raise the profit of the sales so if you hire fresher uh, uh, in within the 15 days so what is my impact uh, with this uh, uh, with this practice what is the financial implications on the company so that's the measurement that we will be having with the benchmarks there are benchmarks which are already there which are developed internally or taken from outside there are indices which is been uh, set by the um, people who are in the industry so taking those things as a reference and if you are measuring your um, um, performance then that becomes um, uh, this approach and very importantly uh, the another uh, uh, approach for measuring hr is the dashboard mainly it focus on key performance indicators okay so uh, for uh, for a line manager what are the key performance indicators will be drafted and based on that you started measuring the things presentation of information is more interactive and uh, user focused fashion uh, the dashboard is more of um, you know infographic uh, way of putting uh, things uh where you will get to know uh, what is uh, what is there in the data in a very quick and fast in a fast fashion okay uh, say you will be uh, more uh, you, you you can able to see the dashboard in terms of chart graphs and uh, you know you have an option of filtering so Uh, it is more of a user friendly user uh, uh, you know user can able to understand the data in a much faster way so that is another approach which is uh, which is being used and very uh, little sophisticated a little mature and uh, a innovative method of assessing um, the hr uh, function is the scorecard it is actually um, inspired by uh, the uh, balance scorecard where uh, uh, where uh, the uh, organizations were evaluated based on the four perspectives like uh, customer financial and uh, internal um, uh, process and learning and growth perspective by taking the similar line the scorecards are developed okay uh, where uh, uh, there is an holistic approach in measuring the uh, functions of hr that's what it does 
It gives you a snapshot of overall HR performance against the strategic goals. Uh, so that's what it does. Enable leader to monitor and manage the results of HR's key objective. Again, those objectives should be in align with the strategic objective. They should be uh, updated based on the timeline of an organization uh, strategic goals. So uh, strategic goals actually were uh, measured based on um, the balance scorecard. Uh, uh, which which give us an uh, insight on how holistically we can able to assess the goals in the similar line uh, the hr functions are also measured that is another approach and the last one <coughs> which are uh, um, which is very uh, common uh, uh, approach in measuring hr is causal chain here basically uh, we link uh, the variables which are connected so for example link the employee attitude to service behavior to customer response to profit so here uh, because of good uh, attitude of the employee the service uh, when they do service to the customer they exhibit a better uh, uh, they exhibit uh, a good uh, behavior and because of that the customer response is good and because of that uh, the company's profit got increased so there are a lot of uh, disadvantages with this the customer may get satisfied for various other reasons also other than uh, employee's attitude that is uh, subjected to uh, the critic but still Causal chain is an, another uh, way of approaching, uh, um, way uh, to measure the HR, um, uh, measure the human resource. Uh, so here uh, we try to establish the logical link between the uh, variables and the financial outcome. So that's the ultimate aim. Valuable for organizing and analyzing diverse data elements. So uh, this is what uh, you, you do with the causal chain so uh, this is all about the uh, current uh, approaches of measuring hr and uh, thank you thank you very much